Hey, it's Dennis, and today I wanted to talk to you about drum thrones. Uh, in particular, this Ahead drum throne. Um, this is the Ahead Spinal Glide, the round version of their drum throne. Um, it is the SPG ARTB, and they also make this in a uh, saddle type shape, if that's your preference. Um, but I've been using this type of throne, and uh, this one in particular, for years. And people always ask me, well, what's up with, the, with that... Um, that gap in the middle, what does that do? And obviously all the jokes that come with it. But, uh, so I figured I, I kinda, uh, you know, do a little video about why I love this throne and what this does. Um, basically, if you've, um, you know, owned a regular throne for years and you've done a three hour session or show or a rehearsal or four, five, six hours, um, you're probably familiar with that feeling of getting up and your butt just being completely numb, um, possibly not even being able to stretch your back completely for a little while. Um, I definitely had that issue. Um, what would happen to me too is that if I had a, an all day rehearsal, six hours, um, I would be in bed at night and my tailbone would literally be throbbing um, just from, you know, being agitated all day. Um, so that's what this thing solves. Basically, um, when you look at the, the, the anatomy of the human skeleton, you'll, you'll see that um, the places where your butt actually sits on something, there's three points, which is the two sit bones, the bottom parts of your pelvis, and your tailbone. Um, now, your pelvis can support your weight, and that's not really uh, the issue, but your tailbone, when there's too much pressure on that, and especially when you're bouncing on a seat, um, your tailbone is going to really... Um, get agitated and uh, that can be really painful. Also, your tailbone is where direct uh, pressure goes into your spine. Um, so that's where your back starts to you know, feel tired or painful. Um, so the first time I tried one of these, um, I instantly noticed that I could, um, I was actually in a recording session all day um, and it was literally an entire day, probably eight hours of recording. And I noticed uh, for the first time ever that I didn't think about my back or my butt or feel fatigued at, at the end of the day. So instantly switched to these. Um, so yeah, it's if you have issues with that, it's definitely worth trying out. Um, apart from that, it is just an incredibly comfortable seat. I, this is sort of a, it's not a memory foam, but it's, um, it has a different type of um, bounce to it or, or softness. It's not firm, it's not soft, it's different. So as far as that goes, it's extremely comfortable just to begin with. Um, so, so that's really um, an explanation of the top of this throne. The other thing, um, that's not necessarily uh, exclusive to this uh, head throne, is um, the spindle base. Now, I strongly believe that a spindle base um, is the best way to go. Um, there are some thrones on the market where that have like a uh, an air, what do you call it, pneumatic uh, spring in it or something. Um, they're comfortable as far as the, the up and down motion of it and the, you know, the, um, the bounce you get in them, if that's your thing. Um, the problem with those is that they always turn. So when you're playing a fill to the right, your throne turns to the left and your back is always compensating. So you get some serious uh, issues in your back eventually. Um, a spindle throne, you can lock in place. So this is locked, both the spindle itself is locked and the top has a vice clamp. I'm hoping you can see that. So you can lock this in every way. There's no wobble and it doesn't turn. So when you play a fill, especially if you have a second floor tom, when you play a fill towards the right, the throne doesn't turn to the left and your back is not constantly trying to keep you straight. Um, it's something that you don't, you're not aware of when you have a, a throne that rotates um, 
but it, your back's doing a lot of work and it can eventually get pretty painful. So I always recommend um, a spindle type thrown top or a spindle type thrown base that you can lock completely um, and definitely a vice type clamp like this one. Um, and I definitely suggest that you, you try out these uh, Spinal G thrones with the, the gap here. Um, you'll notice instantly that you can play all day without having any, uh, any pain or fatigue or, or um, agitation in your spine or your, uh, your tailbone. So um, yeah, check out the Ahead Spinal G thrones. Happy Nam.